that's just a situation that no one should have to go through. That sounds horrible. Scarred for life. Well, Sarah, please take us into the next news topic. Uh, Dorit, Dorit, uh, with the mid-Atlantic accent, we feel so terrible for this atrocity happened to her last week. She is opening up. There is new footage. Tell us what's going on with Dorit. <laughs> yes, um, if you missed it, um, Dorit Kemsley of the Houses of Beverly Hills, her house was robbed um, and the police did release the footage of the robbers breaking her glass door and going into her house because they are trying to find these men who stole jewelry and purses and shoes and accessories from her. Um, it's really scary, the video, and Dorit gave her first interview to her former co-star Teddy Mellencamp, who is unexplicably an extra correspondent now um, and has brown hair, all besides the point. But um, Dorit said, quote, they were surprised to see me home. When they did, they pushed me to the ground. They said, who else is home? Um, she said they were talking, they were arguing with each other about murdering her. Um, one of them said, just kill her, just kill her already, just kill her. And all she could think was, I have to save those babies. I begged them. I begged for my life. I begged for all of our lives. I said, I don't care about it. Take it all. You can have it all. Please, I'm a mother. Please please don't hurt me. They need me. Um, and obviously we know that in the end, the men left with over 10 grand of clothes, but did and of items. I don't think it was clothes. I think it was more accessories, but yeah. did not um, physically harm jury and did not go into the kid's room. And they have no idea, which is obviously the priority. And now jury just has to, you know, get over all the mental effects of this. Cause it's definitely going to be going to, she's going to have them. She's going to need some therapy for sure. Oh my God, this is so tragic. We sort of knew a little bit from the police calls that they were threatening her life, but hearing it from Dorit, that's just a situation that no one should have to go through. That sounds horrible, scarred for life. Trauma, and trauma. Trauma, trauma mama, and it is real, real bad. I feel so terrible for her. And it's not even a time for me to make a sassy joke about her, which no, I really want to, because I feel bad for the woman. It's yeah. just sad. I'm glad her kids were saved from any of this trauma, but exactly. we wish to read the best and happy healing. Love and light to you and yours.